So let's talk about Newton's first law of motion, also known as the law of inertia. So what exactly does this law state? Well, it states the following. An object at rest or an object moving with constant velocity along a straight line will continue in its present state of motion as long as no net force acts on that object. So, let's for example use the following scenario. Let's suppose we have a box that is stationary on a horizontal surface. Now, if no net force acts on my box, will my box begin to move? The answer is no. If, for example, I take some object, let's say my camera, and I place my camera on my hand, will this camera move if no net force acts on my object? The answer is no. No matter how long I wait, my camera will not move. It will remain in its present state of motion. It will remain stationary at rest. And that's exactly what the first law of motion tells us. Now let's suppose I take my box and I place it on a frictionless surface and I give it a push. So I give it a small push and then I let go. Well, because my surface is frictionless, there's no force acting to stop my box. So my box will continue moving with a constant velocity as long as no net force acts on that box. Now, let's look at another example. Let's talk about a more realistic scenario where we actually have friction. So let's suppose I take my same box, I place it on my table, and now there is friction. So, if I begin pulling on my box, the force of friction will pull backwards. So that means one force is uh, going this way along the x-axis, the second force is going in the opposite, in the negative direction along the x-axis. So my net force is the sum of these two forces. So let's choose the positive to be our direction this way, our negative to be direction backward. So we have the force of the pull plus the force of the friction. Now this is negative, so we're actually subtracting our two forces. Now, if the force of the pull is exactly equal to the force of friction, the two forces will exactly offset one another. They will be equal and opposite. So that means our net force will be zero. In this case, the box will move with constant velocity because we have no net force acting on our object. So that means our object will continue in its uh, present state of motion as long as our net force is zero. Now, let's suppose that my force of the pull was higher than the force of friction. That means our net force would be greater than zero. It will be positive. And in this case, uh, first law of motion no longer holds true because we have a force. We have a net force. And so my object will begin to accelerate in the positive direction. Its velocity will begin to increase. Likewise, let's suppose the force of friction is greater than the force of the pull. Now, this force is greater, so my object will begin moving in the opposite direction until it stops. Or, if my object is stationary and I try pulling the object and my pull force is smaller than my frictional force, my object will not move. 